Every Friday during the 10 here on Fox 8, we highlight a food truck in the Piedmont. We show you the menu, what they have to offer. We've had Mediterranean, a mac and cheese food truck, a burger truck, and a lot more. Today, we're trying something new, though. A coffee food truck, or as I call it, a coffee camper. Where'd you get the idea for it? So we actually discussed this as a family. Um, we all love coffee and we all love to just hang out together. So we're like, why don't we start a business? We can bring all this happiness to everybody else. I love that. <laughs> and you said when you got this, this camper, I said it's not really a food truck, it's a coffee camper. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Which I love. When you got this camper, it was completely empty, right? It was. It was completely empty. And then my husband built everything out um, with his bare hands and so it worked out really well for us. How did you learn to, to make all these different coffees? So we all have a little bit of different flavors that we like, different tastes, so we all kind of just combined everything together and then we're bringing it out to you guys. Where did the name Grounded come from? So grounded, that is a very special name to all of us and it means something different to each one of us. So I think the gist of it though is everything that keeps us grounded is what comes from the love that we share here and all the happiness that we want to provide for everybody else. So if people were to say, oh, it's grounded like coffee grounds, it's totally not. It's not, it's not. <laughs> What keeps you grounded might not be the same that keeps me grounded, but with all of us as a family business together, we all keep each other grounded. How did you learn to make these though? I mean, like you have all, all different kinds. You have matcha and... Yeah, we have matcha, chai, cold brew. So it's a lot of trial and error. It's a lot of trial and error. We do a lot of taste tests, and it doesn't. It benefits us too because we get to lot try everything else. I would like that too. <laughs> What's your favorite? My favorite probably is the ube bay. That one's really good. What is the ube bay? So, have you heard of purple yam? I think I have, sort of. Yeah. Okay, maybe? so it's um, it's a purple yam. It's very common in the Philippines, but it's it's almost like a dessert. So it comes with our coconut matcha, and then we top it off with the ube cold foam. Is that healthy? Sounds it healthy. Is, it is healthy, it is healthy. If you've ever had matcha before, it's really good for you. So we have um, different cold foams that we can kind of pair with you know, your base drink. Um, it's just your preference. So we have the chai, like you said. We have so many different syrups that you guys can pick from. Um, the cold foams, you can kind of swap that as well. You could do ube, you could do lychee, you could do vanilla. A lot of people like sugar-free, you could do that as well. What is it that makes you want to be different? Because, you know, the, the lychee, is that what yes, it's called? Lychee. The lychee is not on, you know, other not coffee on a lot menus. Of places, right. So we also use our culture as well. So a lot of different places that we go to, we try out um, flavors that we bring from our, the culture that we have. Um, we just want to share it with everybody else. I love this. Is this fun for you? It's so fun. It's so fun. I love working with my family. A lot of people can't say that, but I love working with my family. taste test. So this is our salty sea. This mm -hmm. one is your salted caramel cold foam with the cold brew vanilla. It is too pretty to drink. It is. It's beautiful. It tastes better too. So should I try it with a straw? No, no straw. So no straw? you actually get a better taste if you sip it because the cold foam is right on top. So when you sip it, you'll get the cold brew and you'll get the cold foam. Deal. That looks too pretty to drink. Mmm. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm gonna have a moment with my coffee here. <laughs> this is the welder, it's my favorite out this... of all the items on the menu. Cause he's the masculine, the men man. <laughs> <laughs> mm. It is stronger. It's a stronger it taste. Mm -hmm. It's a different taste. It's mm -hmm. Mm. Okay, it tastes Scottish to me. <laughs> so we actually yes. use like a, it's like a Vietnamese iced coffee. Ah. Is that where you, the flavor is mm -hmm. from there? Now this one is gonna be our ube bay. Is this with the, the purple That is with yam? the ube cold foam. Yep. Ube cold foam. Oh, yep. this is a cold foam too. It is a cold foam. 
Oh my gosh, this is the healthy drink. <laughs> it's my healthy drink. Mm. You see how you get both of the flavors? Mm -hmm. Oh gosh. You like it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it always has a little nutty taste to it too. Mm -hmm. It's yummy. Just one more sip. <laughs> mm. This is your Enchanted. So it's our chai. <gasps> and it's I got lavender chai. and it's got vanilla in it. Oh, this, this is healthy. I'm going to be relaxed. This is what I should drink every day. Mm. That chai. Just a hint of lavender. You like it? Just a hint. I love Very it. Very refreshing taste. One and more the, here. The grand finale. Yes, this is our love match. Mm -hmm. So this one is also a coconut matcha, and then it has a strawberry cold foam. Coconut matcha strawberry cold foam. Mm. Mm. That tastes like spring. <laughs> Yeah. That tastes like spring or summer. If I had to pick my favorite, there's no way I could because each of these is different in its own respect. You know, it's yeah. like there's no way I could pick a favorite. I like them all. We can cater to anyone. <laughs> we even have decaf. Well, Grounded NC will be at the State Employees Credit Union on Muir's Chapel Road around noon today. Go ahead and stop by. And 10% of their proceeds will go to the March of Dimes. So it's coffee for a cause today. That's pretty cool. It's and really it cool. It's like this really wide variety of flavors that they got, it too. Is. And, it, and it, you know, it's a nod to their Southeast Asian, mm -hmm. you know, roots. Yeah. And I, I, it was really good. Really good. I highly recommend it. All the blends, all the flavors out there. Yeah, and, and you stuff. can f find them on Facebook and Instagram at grounded underscore NC. I mean, a lot of people like to that. follow the food trucks and yep. you can check them out where they're going to be. Yeah. Speaking of which, if you know of a food truck that you think we should try, drop us a line. Give us a suggestion. Email us at 10 a.m. news at WGHP.com.